there. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you ever have a favorite something you don't want to share? Once in a while? Well, Monster has something special he wants to keep and not share. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if he could possibly change his mind. Love Monster and the Last Chocolate by Rachel Bright. This monster, hello Love Monster, was just getting back from his vacation. And although it was a little bit exciting to be home, he was sad to leave his adventures behind him. But wait, what was this? A box of chocolates? Just sitting there, waiting to be found? Love Monster couldn't believe it. You see, Everybody knows that monsters seriously love chocolate, especially this monster. His mouth started to water just thinking about what might be inside. Perhaps there'd be a peanut butter crunch or even an extra fizz banger sherbet or maybe, just maybe, a double chocolate strawberry swirl. Love Monster's absolute favorite. But then he had a thought that he just couldn't unthink. Hmm. He should probably share the chocolates with his friends, but what if there weren't enough? Or what if someone took the one he wanted the most? Or worst of all, what if the only one left for him was the coffee one? Ew! Everybody knows monsters hate the coffee one especially this monster. Yuck! Well, I'm sorry to tell you that after thinking all of these thoughts, Love Monster decided it would be safer and kinder and better for everyone if he kept the chocolates just for himself. So he went into his house, and so did the box of chocolates. Without a whisper of a word to anyone, Love Monster couldn't wait. Oh, how his mouth watered. But just as he went to lift the lid, he had a sort of queasy, squeezy feeling in his heart. It was the feeling a monster gets when he knows he is about to do something he shouldn't. And before you could say, pass me the truffle surprise, he burst out of his house and ran as fast as his toes would carry him to find his friends. And when he did, in a very out of breath and a bit shouty voice, he said, I got back from my vacation and I found some chocolates and I was going to keep them all to myself, but then I realized I wanted to share them with you and, and I don't even want a single one. Well, maybe one. And do you know what his friends said? Silly monster, just open the box. 
to Love Monster. We missed you so much. We saved you our last chocolate, your favorite, because you're our favorite monster. You see, sometimes it's when you stop to think of others that you start to find out just how much they think of you. Bear's wondering, would you save the last chocolate for your friend? Bear says, if you answered yes, you are a really good friend and that you'll see others showing they care about you too. Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in sharing and caring. Bye for now. Please subscribe.